Hello folks, this is Mike DeBruzzo from K91 Specialized Dog Training and I decided to throw together an introduction video on trailing with the dog. It's an interesting subject, it's very fun to do. Um, so I'll give you a little bit of exposure in case you want to play around with it and see if you're interested in it. Um, first thing I'm going to explain is the difference between trailing and tracking. Yep. They are not the same thing, although most people who are trailing with their dogs will use the term tracking somewhat interchangeably. Rarely will you hear someone who's track, truly tracking with their dog call it trailing. What tracking is is where you train the dog to follow footprints. And when the dog is tracking they are smelling the scent of the disturbed ground so someone walked across the field the dog is really trained to smell the broken grass and disturbed dirt and things like that not necessarily the scent of the person and that's why a lot of people training their dog to track will lay their own tracks put food in the footsteps lay some food at the end of the trail track as a reward go back to their car or their, and get their dog and have the dog follow the track and if the dog was really tracking them they were the dog would just turn around and say hey I found you why do I have to follow these footsteps so it's not the same thing now what trailing is is it is training the dog to follow human scent no matter where it is or any type of scent depending on what you're training the dog to, to trail so in, and this is what is more useful for working dogs that have to work in all different types of environments across roads and gravel and through yards and everything like that they're they're following human scent so the human scent could be on the ground it could be in the air it could happen to be in the actual footsteps it could be sticking to to tall vegetation on walls i mean it is it's anywhere that the scent is the dog is going to follow and sometimes the dog may even take a shortcut someone was running um, loop de loos all over the place but the dog is close enough to the person where they smell the air scent where the person is they don't have to follow exactly where the person went they're just going to go directly to the person so this is based off of what the dogs have been doing anyway for forever since before we even domesticated them so you do not train a dog to to trail you may train a dog to track because you have to force them to do that usually because it's unnatural if you don't want them to ever lift up their head or go off the track you know it takes it takes training but trailing is natural and it's fun because you're just letting the dog do what it normally does if it wants to find something so we're just training the dog when to do it we're just telling the dog when to do it and and who to find which is actually pretty easy so here if you watch this dog this is just a seven month old dog that was in early stages it's owned by a police officer and what I did about three minutes ago at the beginning of the video was I was just was swinging around a tug and I ran and the dog naturally wants to find me so now he's been barking and he's been frustrated this whole time waiting for me if you're starting off a dog I wouldn't wait this long um, to cut the dog loose but what I did is I took off down the trail over here I grabbed the hostage you don't need to do that um, that's because this footage was for inside edition we were you know doing something with with an interviewer but I dropped a paper towel um, down this trail a bit and that's really just a, a place for the handler to start with the dog so the dog saw me run down this trail so the dog is assuming I ran straight ahead so dogs this dog is going to start off visual. He saw me running that way. He doesn't know yet that he really has to use his nose. So what you're going to see the handler do in a minute here is he's going to bring the dog to where I dropped a scent article. So it's a paper towel. It has my scent on it. And he's going to give the dog uh, a command. He's just going to tell the dog, like, track, track buy the article and he's going to cut the dog loose. In the beginning, these dogs don't even know why you're doing this. 
the dog is just going to take off anyway in the direction that he thinks that I that I went. He's not even going to be using his nose. So this is actually pretty typical. And you'll see that in a moment. We have a GoPro on the dog. Um, so the dog smells this. The owner cuts the dog loose. The dog's like, yeah, he went that way. But I'm not that way. And now the dogs, they, they figure it out when they get that freedom right away that they're not going in the right direction. It's hard to tell this GoPro, but he turned completely around, ran right back to his owner, and was like, maybe I should rethink this. So we usually have the owner just stay right by the scent article, and the dog will kind of go back to planet Earth now, because he was just frustrated because he wanted to get to me, and try to figure things out. And that's what he did. He, he smelled which way I went. He's going the right direction. Now, he stops here, and he turns around and looks at his owner, which is very important. Um... Went right there. He looks at the owner. He makes sure the owner is coming. Then he starts. He gets back on the on the scent again. So when you're starting with these young dogs, your job is to just watch your dog. Believe me, if they have enough drive, they know what they're doing. You watch your dog, but they need. To, they do not want to be separated from you. So you follow them. You follow. You run if you have to, but do not try not. You do not pass your dog. If your dog is trying to figure out, do not go in front of your dog. Let them take the lead and find them. But they do, these young dogs especially, they need to know that you're coming with them. So you try to keep up them, keep up with them the best that you can. But you do not interfere. I do not even give the dog any commands after this. We tell them track once and then we cut them loose and you let them do their thing. So I like to do it like this with no lead on the dog at all because the thing about trailing is the is the humans mess up the dog. Now, you see this dog going through all kinds of vegetation and sticks. Could you imagine if his handler was attached to him on a long leash? He's going to be screwing him up. I don't want the handler doing that in the beginning. I want the handler to watch their dog. When you start this with your dog, you just watch your dog. If your dog is driven and he wants what the teaser had. He will he will find the person. Unless the the environment is way, way too hot and the dog is too hot and they can't they can't use their, their nose. If the dog is driven, they're gonna be able to figure it out. Believe me, they're they're evolved um, for for this. So, you know, this was you know, I had this was maybe about a hundred meters in that I went. And you could tell right here the dog is definitely on the scent. It was figuring it out. And was on the scent and he'll be getting to me he'll be getting to me pretty pretty shortly and the the handler is just running behind him at, at, at this point so watch your dog this is number one job when you start training your dog you don't have to do something as far as I did running in the woods here you do shorter but you watch your dog when you watch your dog you can see what it looks like when they're on scent when they're not on scent, you'll check, you'll look at the body language. I'm going to have other clips um, after this one where it's going to be a little bit easier to look at the dog's reactions. But this is just how you start off, you know, tease the dog, run, drop something. The handler brings the excited dog to the dropped object, tells the dog to track, lets the dog go, and follows the dog. You know, make sure the dog knows you're following, don't pass them. If the dog sort of gets off of a scent, you'll usually know they'll lift their head up in the air. They'll usually have an open mouth, have a blank look on their face. Stand there and let them figure it out. They may backtrack, let the dog take the lead. All right. So the dog over here looks like he's almost to me. Let's see. He's going, he's going, and yep, there we go. So I was over there. I was in there pretty good. And they know what they're doing. So in this case, we used a tug. But almost any dog will um, will find their own owners. Like if we have a dog that doesn't have a lot of drive and someone wants to play around with this, most dogs, if you have a good relationship with your dog, um, you can have one owner hold the dog and the other one just run in the woods without any toys, any reward. And if the dog has a strong pack instinct and wants to keep you together, they're going to be upset 
And they're going to go out and find you. And you can just love the dog up when they find you. Other dogs you can give food. Um, in my opinion, the it's it's. I mean, you, if you start off with the dog that has a lot of drive for some kind of toy or something like that, those are going to be the easiest to 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 train. Um, and see, the dog was rewarded there. Now, in this next clip, we're going to see something that moves on to the next stage. After we do, we have a handler work with their dog off leash like this and just observe their dog then we start attaching the the owner to a leash so this is a working security dog and he works in a hospital so he's going to be trained to find patients that kind of wander off and in this case i already took off um and what happens is this dog's on a hard surface, and see, he has a long leash. I think this one, I think this one's only like 15 feet. The longer, most people that are going to track with their dogs or trail with their dogs, they're going to use anything from a 15 foot to a 30 foot leash. The longer the leash, the better, because you see, this dog, this human scent, which is me, is scattered all over the place. Um, it's all over the place. So unless you want to be running around like crazy trying to pick up catch up with your dog the longer leash you can handle an environment the the better now when you're in you know tons of uh, vegetation and stuff like that these longer leashes are harder to handle but in this case a longer leash here would be helpful for for him now this handler is just starting to use a a line with this dog and you'll see it ends up getting tangled over here um, but the dog, this dog's very excited, and you can see if he was cut off leash, he would have, he would have left his handler in the dust. And that's why eventually you do need to put him on a leash for safety issues. And once you do long, I mean these are very short, short trails. But um, if this was something long, like a mile or more, the dog is gone. So you need to attach yourself to them. Now this is interesting here. The dog is following human scent, and this is why it's different from tracking. See, I'm actually hiding up over there. Um, the dog was following my scent that was blown all over the place on the hard pavement, and over here he lost the scent. He passed it. Look at the dog's body language; completely changes. They go, com their eyeballs go completely blind. It seems when they're really using their nose, especially if someone is, sta is staying still. Now this is where you're going to see some tracking. Dogs are slick; they have a lot of tools in their toolbox. He's going to go back to where he last smelled the scent, and now he's going to be more careful. All right, he was able to move quick by following the direction of the scent. And now he goes back and starts smelling the grass. And he actually, he's going to actually start smelling exactly where I stepped there. See, that's tracking. And then he smells my scent, you know, leaking from up on the roof. And he gets rewarded. It's very fun stuff. And I am throwing in a lot of information in this relatively short video. But I just want to spark people's interest here. Because trailing is really fun. Now this is another dog from our class. And this is just a pet that the owners are having fun with. And we just started her on a line too. And this dog has learned the pattern. All right, Once you start having, um, you know, the dogs start putting on the tracking harness, they know what they're about to do. Watch when the dog sm <laughs> smelled the article there. You know, he told the dog to track and the dog knew, oh, I'm supposed to track. And she goes right off to it. And this track was laid across, you know, through the grass, across the road. Um, and she actually follows exactly where I went. But you see, you, a dog cannot follow footsteps when it's trailing. Because how is it going to follow footsteps across the road? There's nothing really to crush there. My scent got blown all the way up the road. And she follows it back onto the grass where the scent sticks better. And you see she gets excited because she hits the scent against, again strong. And she goes up. This is the area we were doing with that first dog. Um, they ended up going a different direction. Now, you can really get an idea that the dog really knows what, we're, what they're doing. We're just along for the ride. Um, especially up here, because I ran up this 
this trail and then I hooked the right through this like really tall overgrown grass and the handler himself he looks like he didn't even think I would have went through there but the dog knows All right, and then um, his wife who's following with the camera she says go with the dog because she see right here he goes in there and he looks like almost like he doesn't trust the dog but his wife says, go in there. He must be in there. Look at that. The dog's just pushing him through. The dog knows where to go. And the dog gets gets rewarded. But anyway, I'll, I'll attach a link to this. This is just, this is a lot of information to throw into uh, an intro. I know it's sloppy, but I thought it might spark your, your interest. So until next time, um, this is Mike DeBruzzo. If you have any questions, write it in the comments.